Hi, welcome to Sharing My Art, and this segment is going to be how to use your brushes. It's important that you know what the flat brush will do, what the round brush will do, what salt will do, what water will do, and that's what we're going to go over right now. Okay, uh, for your paint, I'm just using this diazonine uh, purple, violet. You want it to be kind of the consistency of a light syrup. So you just add enough water, you know, these are dry, I'll show you in the next color exactly, but I've mixed this up already, and uh, about that consistency. One of the most important things that you want to have is a rag of some kind to kind of dab some of the paint off or the water, mostly the water. So take your flat brush and just practice, seeing what, what strokes it'll do. You know, up and down, around. You know, what strokes will this this do? Can I do like a circle? You know, flat stroke and um, zigzag maybe. Okay, so there's your flat strokes, and now we're going to do, um, while we have paint on here, we're going to do this uh, sponge. This is useful not for purple uh, bushes, but if you're doing bushes, isn't that a nice texture on there? You know, you can overlap it, you can make it darker, but you can't get that with a brush. So uh, just a simple celluloid uh, sponge, or you can take your uh, sea sponge, put a little paint on it, because it's a little further apart. See there? That would be really good for bushes. Really good for bushes. Alright? So there's our sponge. Okay, L's and V's. Like uh, the base of a petal inside of an elbow or, you know, a person's arm or a little animal's uh, leg or something. And I have dry paint on here. I just put water in with it. I'm mixing it in to get about the consistency of light syrup. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, say like if I want to uh, make this darker in here, and I've already painted, I've already painted uh, this leaf. And I've already painted in here. I know that an animal wouldn't be this color. I'll let that dry a little bit. I'm going to come back here with just the corner of my brush and make this darker. Make this darker. Then I'm going to take uh, a little other brush and kind of tickle that out. So when we do a flower, you'll see that it's important to get that darker in the corner. And same way with uh, like somebody's elbow. Those are L's and V's. Getting that dark dark spot right there in the, the, uh, the crook of the L or the V. Okay, now we've changed to a round brush, haven't we? And a little different color. If you, you saw me do that, you can spread more color with a round brush. You know, you can also do small lines. 
more pressure is going to bring that out. One thing you don't want to do with watercolor is, and I'll try to show you this in just a minute, is go back. This has already started to dry. So if I go back over here, and I hope it works, when this dries, it's going to make a blossom. It'll look kind of like a cloud. We're going to let that just sit there and see if it does like I want it to do. Okay. This salt, put some, some uh, paint down. Kind of hold your paper and let it, let it run in together a little bit. That's a technique right there in itself getting those lines to disappear. See how that, that paint is moving on the paper? That's a really important, there, there now it's really doing it, it's really moving. And here up here, our blossoms have happened because the paint was dry on the bottom and I've added wet paint before uh, it was all dry. So now, when this shine kind of goes, goes off of here, I'm just going to take some salt and sprinkle it on there. We're going to let that sit for a minute. Let's put some more paint on there. Okay, we're going to let that dry a little bit. And then this spatter is just like this. You're just going to make little dots. You can do it like this. And this is valuable, like if you're making, uh, oh, different colors in autumn leaves or autumn, uh, you know, trees with uh, different colors. And you can just add, whoops, you don't want to touch it like that. Just add little, little spatters. If you don't do well at that, like I really don't, it's not my best shot. You can load up a toothbrush. And make it directional. So you can see how that spatter would add enough color, like to an autumn leaf, to just, just make it uh, have a little more texture. All right, we, got, we laid our paint down. Uh, the shine is off. Oh, I know, I'm too close to it, there. The water pushes the uh, paint away. Okay, this is a rigger brush or script. And it's for doing fine lines. You know, you have to kind of have a scrap piece of paper right by you so you can test it first. Say, oh yeah, that's just what I want for that little branch. You know, that little twig or something off of it. It's hard to get this with anything else but a thin, thin brush like this. Okay, we finished the strokes. We finished the salt, the spray, the sponge. Now you know what everything will do. And now we're ready to start our painting. Remember to like and subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Bye.